Hey, what's going on? Atiba here, and today we're going to be talking about power. So, as you lot know, I'm a Rota ambassador, so that means I get to try out some cool tech on my track and road bike. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about why I like power as a metric on my road bike. But most specifically, we're going to be talking about why I like to ride with this power meter, the Rota in Spider. There are other power meters available, but we're going to be talking about the one I'm riding currently on my road bike. I will be doing a separate video on the track, but for now, let's get started. So the first one is modularity. Currently at the moment, I am riding a Rota in Spider on my road bike, but this isn't limited to the road. So if you wanted to ride it on a cross, gravel or mountain bike, this power meter has the ability to work on all of those disciplines. One benefit of a modular crank system is that if you wanted to change parts out, then you could easily do it without having to swap out the whole crank set. At the moment, I've been playing around with short cranks and I've been running 165s compared to the standard 172.5s. And it gives me flexibility on changing cranks uh, if I wanted to go a little bit shorter. So with the cranks that I'm using, the Rotor Aldo, they go from 155 all the way to 175. The second reason why I like this power meter is that it's dual sided. There are single sided power meters available, uh, which is really good for dipping your toe into riding with power. But what it does is it measures your left foot generally and then doubles that. It's not so accurate. With the double sided power meter, it's a bit more accurate as it measures left and right balance. The third reason, which applies to most power meters to be fair, is that uh, my power meter gives me consistent and accurate data. Okay, there's a whole rabbit hole on accuracy of power meters, but Generally, most power meters should be consistent and accurate, and there's less variables compared to other other data fields like heart rate or speed, um, as there's so many different variables. Uh, with speed, uh, this is something that a lot of people do target to because it is a little bit more easy to kind of target and base efforts by. With speed, there's so many different variables. So there is wind, gradient, how how smooth the road is, uh, your position, but with power, the numbers generally don't lie. One watt is one watt, no matter if there's a headwind, tailwind, you're going uphill, downhill. Power is a lot more accurate because no matter if you're in an aero position uh, or, or going uphill, downhill, or so what, one watt is one watt, where one mile an hour could vary on different circumstances. And those are my reasons on why I like to ride with a power meter. If you like the video, give me a like below. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.